Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Graves, and I wanted to share one of my favorite stories with you guys. It's called Frosty the Snowman. You know, it's getting cold outside, and in Georgia, sometimes we don't get lots of snow, so it's great to dream about snow. And what better way to do that than reading Frosty the Snowman? So without further ado, here we go. The story is Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman came to town one bright, cold winter's day. The first real snow of the winter had fallen the night before. In the morning, out came the children, and they started to roll snowballs. Round and round the snowy yard, they rolled the snowballs. Soon, they had two fine big ones. Round and round the yard again, there was a little snowball, just the right size for a snowman's head. Billy ran home and brought two bits of coal to use for the snowman's eyes. Sally gave him a button nose and a bunny corn cob pipe. Tommy brought floppy galoshes and a scarf for the snowman and Joe brought him a pair of old red mittens to wear. Now, we need a hat, said Sally Joe. So they all began to look around. Sally found an old cap, but it didn't look just right. Then he found a battered felt hat, but it still didn't seem right. Just then, down the street came the whistling wind, and it blew to their feet a shiny top hat. Just what we need, cried S Sally and Joe. It's like magic, said Billy and Tommy. It was Tommy who picked up the shiny top hat and put it on the snowman's head. Zoom! Tommy's hand sprang back with a shock. It is magic, gasped Tommy. So it is, said a voice, a deep, chuckly voice they had never heard before. And a pleasant sort of magic, if I do say so myself. It's the snowman, whispered Sally, and so it was. Frosty the snowman, at your service, said he. That's how Frosty the snowman came alive. If you have never had a snowman for a friend, you can scarcely imagine all the fun those children had. For Frosty took them coasting and never had their sleds slid so swiftly and so far. Frosty helped them build a snow house and never had blocks packed so firmly and well. They all went ice skating, and the magical part was that while they were with Frosty, the children could stay out and play in the snow and never get shivery cold. Was it Frosty's warm heart or his magical smile? Whatever it was, they thought it was fine. Each morning when the children came out to play, Frosty had a wonderful plan all set. One morning he said, let's go shopping today. I've never seen a store, you know. So they all joined hands in a way they skipped off toward town where the shops stood in rows. It was fun showing Frosty around, for he thought every window was wonderful. All around the town they led Frosty that day, while the warm wintry sun shone down. Soon they came to a corner around and soon they came to a corner and around the corner came a warm gusty wind. Off went Frosty's hat and away went Frosty after it. Then tweet sang the traffic cop's loud whistle 
and the children could not follow Frosty because traffic streamed by, buses and trucks and family cars. Tweet! Went the traffic cops whistle again. The crossing stood empty before them now, but there was not a sign of Frosty to be seen. Only down the street, his top hat rolled, all by itself in the morning snow. Mr. Policeman, the children cried, where has Frosty the Snowman gone? Oh, said the policeman, Frosty the Snowman has gone away, where all snowmen go on a sunny day. But he'll be back at your bidding and call whenever, whenever great heaps of snowflakes fall. And you know what? Yeah. He will. There's Frosty right there. I know we don't get a lot of snow in Georgia, but that's okay. We can always dream. And if it does get us a chance to snow here, make sure you get out there and play and roll some snowballs up and make yourself a nice big Frosty snowman. Boys and girls, I hope everybody has a wonderful winter break. I hope you spend time with family and friends and you stay safe. And we'll see you around.